Hi, Damon. Hey, Damon. Hey, guys. How you doing? Fabulous. Great. How are you? Great, great. It's great to talk with you both. Um, Brandon, I talked to you a few weeks ago at, Bra at Broadway Cares in Manhattan. Yes, yes, uh, yes. I'm your, I'm your Jamie fan from Gilmore Girls. And, awesome. As well as <laughs> admire your work. Uh, and I was on Bo uh, Rock the Soap with both of you last year. Yeah, that was a good time, huh? Yeah, that was. It yeah. really was. So, guys, first of all, um, thank you for, for doing this interview today. Sure. Um, I used to live in um, actually in Palm Springs, and I worked in Indio, just down the street from where the Stagecoach Festival is going to be at the uh, Riverside County Department of Mental Health. Wow, nice. Um, so, first of all, um, what do you? I want to ask each of you, what are you most looking forward to about this event? Uh, well, I think the combination of uh, going out there, um, being available for our fans, meeting and greeting, and doing what we can, and then obviously to enjoy the music. We were both there last year and uh, we had a blast. So I've uh, been looking forward to it ever since, so I'm glad it's going to only a couple weeks away. Great. Yeah. And? Oh, and for me, it's, uh, yeah, it's, I'm really looking forward to the, to the same thing, being out there enjoying great music and uh, it's just, it's, 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 it's a good time to celebrate great music, great weather, and to meet the people that keep us on the air. It's always nice to put faces with uh, that ambiguous fan name. So, That's wonderful. Now, I hope, now this is just, I'm sure you guys know because you've been out there before, but this is, you know, this is a very windy time of year out there, right? So you got to protect your, uh, if you have any kind of allergies, you may want to be just aware of that. Take your Zyrtec, <laughs> people. Take your Zyrtec, that's right. You <laughs> know what I also use? This might sound really crazy, you guys, but have you ever heard of a neti pot? Oh, God. My voice teacher was telling me about a neti pot. I was all stuffy and had to go perform at Broadway Cares. And she said, get yourself a neti pot. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's like a tea kettle. You put salt water in, and then you pour it up your nose, right? Yeah. You have to, uh -uh. You have to sort of lean over the sink so uh -uh. it goes in one Ooh. nostril and comes out the other nostril. Uh -uh. It sounds gross. That sounds like a good time, doesn't it? But it's really yeah. good for your sinuses. That's I'm what telling I hear. You. Yeah, that's what I hear. <laughs> a neti pot. <laughs> neti pot. Now, now, both of you, now Jason, I know that um, you also have a background in singing as well. Well, to a certain extent. I mean, uh, <clears throat> you know, I grew up listening to music. I was in a band in high school and stuff like that, and I, I've kind of uh, dabbled a little bit over the years. I've been fortunate enough to be a part of a couple commercials that I had to sing for, and um, a couple years ago we did a Christmas album with ABC that I did a song on. And, uh, I mean, you know, I, I think uh, it's, it's one of those crossovers that we've all... Um, kind of seen happen between actor and, and musician or vice versa. And uh, I mean, I, I, I don't necessarily know what's going to happen in the future with it, but I, I do enjoy sitting around playing music and uh, more importantly, listening to it. Well, Jason, I do remember um, your Gap commercials. Oh, you uh, do? I do. I was actually, uh, <laughs> I remember like every week on Ally McBeal, they would show the Gap commercial. Yeah. And when I'm you start on General YouTube Hospital, that. I actually was like, wait, I think that's the guy from the Gap commercial. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, a good time years ago. Right, right. W is there any chance that either one of you might, uh, Brandon, I don't know, do you sing? I mean, I know I saw you sing Brandon's at a uh, great Broadway singer. Cares. <laughs> yeah, I saw you Sorry? sing at Broadway Cares, but do you sing? <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, I, yeah, I do. I do. It uh, actually musical theater is how I got involved with the whole acting uh, process thing, bug, whatever you want to call it. But uh, yes, I enjoy it very much. Great. What can fans look forward to most about seeing you guys at Stagecoach this year? What's the number one thing that they can look forward to? Just really having a good time. I mean, like both of us said earlier, and to reiterate it, just being out there in, in a field of, of thousands of people, great weather, even better music, and. Uh, you know, stop by our tent and say hi. We'll be happy to see you, sign you, take a picture with you. Yeah, even if you're not a fan of, of soap operas, you can come by the tent. They're giving away uh, little oh, gifts yeah, right. and, and manicures and massages and all that kind of stuff. So come on by the tent and um, who knows? You might just win something and uh, meet any one of the 15 ABC actors that are going to be out there. Great. Are you guys giving manicures or massages? Well, that would be an interesting twist, huh? Jason's going to be giving me a manicure while I guys. give him a pedicure. With my feet. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your time this morning. Both Thank of you, you take good Thanks, care of yourselves, David. okay? All right, take care.